Hamilton School. So we're talking about distractions and disruptions and things that we can do to help manage distractions and disruptions. So a big part of it is checking your body. Eyes watching, ears listening, mouth quiet, body calm. Making sure that your body is focused and ready to go for the activity you have planned. So it's eyes watching, ears listening, mouth quiet, body calm. Also, we're going to be talking about the self-talk, things you can say to yourself to remind yourself what you're supposed to be doing and sustain. That means stick with the task you're at. You don't quit. You work till it's done. These kids are really in the middle of a math lesson. I can tell that they're focused. I see their eyes watching, their ears listening, their body calm. I see that they're raising their hand. They're facing the board and participating in the lesson. I also see that when the teacher writes something down, they write it too. They are focused. Can you see the eyes watching, the mouth quiet, the ears listening, and the calm body? When you look for it, you can tell if it's there. When we talk to ourselves, we can say things to remind ourselves to keep focused. In this clip, can you see who's focused? What are they doing that makes them look focused? Can you see who's distracted? How can you tell? Tell us, what do you tell yourself? It's time to work. Jesleen, tell us, what are some self-talk strategies you use? I tell myself to pay attention and don't um, listen to any distractions. Wow, great, thank you. Here, Ben tells himself he's bored, but he's not going to quit. When do you need to tell yourself this? All right, tell us, what this, what's the self-talk you use? I keep going even if you don't want to keep going. What do you tell yourself? To stay focused. 